be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Be Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you three ways to flip trap samples using the Quick Sampler in Logic Pro. Three ways to uh, flip your trap samples using the Quick Sampler in Logic Pro. So let's go ahead and just check this out. Basically, um, I have a sample here and uh, let's just check out kind of what it sounds like with the beat. So the first way is actually it's going to be to take the sample, put it in a quick sampler here and um, really just reversing it or playing it forward. When you have it in classic mode, you can just pretty much come over here, click on follow tempo and that will lock it in place. And then you can, you know, select reverse or forward. Actually the sample is already reversed, but this is what it sounds like forward. So it sounds like that, but then you can always reverse, which is what I did at first. So reversing samples, man, that's always going to be a great tip for flipping trap sounds, trap samples, anything like that. Um, another thing you want to look into doing is slicing it up. So this is the keyboard. When you put it in slice mode, you can pretty much just have uh, different parts of the sample chopped up over the keyboard. And um, if you look right here, you got like, everything coordinated with different notes, C1, C sharp, etc. You can set it to be chromatic, which is gonna go up to, to the, up the, excuse me, up the scale to the sharps and the flats and all that type of stuff, or in the black and white keys, or you can do either all white, so, or all black, you know what I'm saying? Um, we'll do all white just for a second. And then you can chop this up instantly by going to mode and go to transient and go either beat divisions, equal divisions. Let's do equal divisions. And I can control how fine tuned the slices are by coming over here and taking it down a notch. So let's try it like that. Now that sounds kind of dry right now, but if we do a, um, you know, reverb on here, that would be pretty hard. Turn this down some. Then I can come over here, make these bigger. Just doing that right there alone, you know, I'll probably throw some more samples in here just so you can really get a good vibe, but that's gonna really help out. Also, the third way is by coming back to the classic. So we had basically reversing or making the sample go forward, slicing it up, or the third way is actually gonna be controlling the speed of the sample. So you can either slow it down, create a whole new vibe, So now this is gonna be a whole new beat. Just off of one little touch of the quick sampler, you know what I'm saying? Um, you can also come over here and speed it up. That also comes out to do some dope stuff. You can reverse it. And the cool thing about this is like these 
basic three tips will work with any sample. So, um, like I said, reversing it or making it go forward, slicing and chopping it up, or you know, speeding it up or slowing it down. And these are things that are common uh, knowledge, but you know what I'm saying? Doing it in a quick sample, especially if you're brand new, this is gonna be a good video for you. Um, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull up some type of other um, loop here. throw that in here and then we're just gonna do the same three things here now right now it's already uh, synced up and everything like that let's just check out how it sounds sped up sound like somebody gonna come in there and kill that track bro I'm gonna have to finish this joint. All right, then slow it down. Then we could take this back up to one, come over here to slice it. Simple, but effective. That little last note, I don't know. Then you can resample what you already sampled to resample to sample. You know, it just can go crazy. So I can take this now and just do the same stuff. You know, let's reverse it. These are all all new beats just off of the same sample for real for real. All off the same sample, man. These are new beats. <laughs> Correct.
dressings are. I mean, just like I said, these three little simple tips right here, you can chop up lots of different trap samples with this, man. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel. Appreciate y'all watching all the way to the end. Make sure you grab the Beat Making Master Bundle that comes with all the courses, all the sound kits, and all the mixing templates that we offer on BeatMakingBasics.com. Make sure also to join the channel perks. Basically, it's only $3 a month, and you get uh, hidden videos, videos that are not seen to the general public. Uh, and like I said, with the site, you know, you know what's going on with that. That's tons and tons and hours and hours of, of content that's not um, on the channel. But check that out, man. Appreciate y'all watching. Leave your comments below. Hit the like button. Smash that join. Share it. All that good stuff. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next video. We're out.